Welcome back to another video in financial accounting. Uh, we are uh, currently working through some property, plant, and equipment transactions. And uh, sometimes, you know, in school, when, where everything starts on uh, January the 1st and ends on December 31st, we, we get a question that you know, maybe we don't like quite that much because we have to uh, deal with a lack of information uh, to, to find an answer to something that's being asked of us. So let's go ahead and get started and see what we've got here. Uh, so computing and recording proceeds from the sale of property, plant, and equipment. And the following information was provided for Hilton. All right. So we don't, uh, we have a note here about property, plant, and equipment for the company. And we have some 2017 data and some 2018 data. Uh, notice that property, plant, and equipment at, at gross amount or historical cost has gone up. Uh, looks like by about 45 uh, million million, right? And um, let's see here. Uh, uh, let's see, accumulated depreciation has gone up by 31 million. I guess those are actual just millions. Okay, so let's see here. Property, plant, and equipment net uh, looks like has gone up by 14 million. Okay, so we'll see about all that. Let's see what they want from us down here. It says uh, required using the information provided, prepare a journal entry to record the sale of property and equipment in 2018. Okay. Explain how a gain or loss on the sale would have changed the journal entry for you. Okay, well, very good. We can certainly do that. So, so far, we haven't covered enough information to actually do this, but it looks like they've got some stuff here. It says, uh, Note 7 uh, also revealed that depreciation expense on property, plant, and equipment totaled $54 million uh, in 2018. We can certainly use that piece of information. The cash flow statement reported that expenditures uh, for property, plant, and equipment totaled $72 million in 2018. And there was no gain or loss on the sale of property and equipment uh, during the year. Okay, well, very good. So I think the way that we would want to do this is we would want to look at uh, the information that we are uh, provided and uh, kind of back into this and we can make a uh, journal entry as such. And so I'm going to start right here at the top, and I'm going to say, okay, let's see what we have here. Uh, 848 minus 803 equals 45. But notice right here they tell us that expenditures totaled 72 million. So what that tells me is essentially that the difference between the 72 million right here and the 45 million dollar increase is the amount of equipment uh, that was disposed of uh, at historical cost during the year. So I'm going to clear that out and I'm just going to say, okay, we had 72 million in expenditures minus the $45 million increase gives me 27. So, so the way I'm going to set this up is I'm going to do my credit entry first and this is for 27 and I'm going to put a little mill there uh, for a million okay all right um, the next thing that I would uh, that I would attack here is uh, so so this is going to be a credit entry and we can't really tell that because of because it's the only thing on the on the page right now uh, but I would also look here at accumulated uh, depreciation right and I would say okay it went up it went up from 450 to 481 so I would take 481 and I would subtract 450 
to find out how much my accumulated depreciation went up. And it went up by uh, $31 million. Now here's the thing. If we hadn't disposed of any equipment, it would have gone up by exactly $54 million, the amount of depreciation. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say 54 minus 31, the $31 million increase, gives me 23. So I'm going to now come over here and debit that off because, give me one second, because if we think about it, our property, plant, and equipment is an asset when we get it, right? Well, now we're getting rid of it. And so it would come off the books at historical cost of $27 million. The accumulated depreciation on said equipment must have been $23 million. And we can now complete the journal entry because it says that uh, let's see where to go here. No gain or loss on the sale of property, plant, and equipment was recorded. So all we have to do then is plug this and we can enter uh, cash right here. And this is our uh, journal entry. I'm going to dispense with the uh, journal entry explanation uh, in the interest of time. Uh, but do do note that uh, we have some information here. It says, explain how a gain or loss uh, on the sale would have changed the uh, journal entry. Okay, so um, based, on, based upon the setup that we have, they would basically have to tell us the amount of the gain or loss. So I'm not, you know, to keep this really, really simple, let's just say that up here they said that a gain of, of uh, $1 million was uh, recognized. Well, then we would have, um, we would have all of the same uh, thing. So let me just kind of get that down real quick. P, P, and E. And then we would have actual P, P, and E here. And then we're also going to have a gain. The gains have a credit balance. So if, if, if we had had a $1 million gain, then this would become $5 million. This would stay the same at $23 million. Our property, plant, and equipment would stay the same. It would come off the books at historical cost of $27 million. And then we would have a $1 million gain. All right. And then just uh, real quick, I think what I'm going to do, no, I think I am just going to write it out again. Uh, so let's say that they had told us that a $1 million loss had been recognized. Well, then we would have uh, cash, accumulated depreciation for PP&E. One second, my pencil's running out of lead. Okay, PP&E. Um, we would also still have the uh, property plant and equipment here and so but how would this work if we had a one million dollar loss we would be getting three million dollars in cash accumulated depreciation would still be let's see here I made a mistake not 26 million it was 23 million okay and property plant and equipment would still come off at 27 million and then we would have a loss on disposal of 1 million. Fix that right there. So that's, you know, again, right up here, they would have had to have, based on our setup, because we certainly don't have it up here, um, they would have to tell us the amount of the gain or loss, and then what well, we could uh, certainly go ahead and uh, answer this. But this was the uh, journal entry for the actual transaction that they asked for. As far as the $1 million gain, uh, $1 million loss, I just made that up. Okay. All right. That's it for this video.